Welcome to my series of Become Unbeatable. Here's where you're going to learn everything that you'll ever need to success in War Thunder. And today's lesson, how to use conventional bombs. You can now join my new squadron called Bear Army and my Discord where you can find help and talk to the rest of my community. Find the link on my profile's bio or pin in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, conventional bombs are inherently straightforward. You drop them and upon contact with the ground, they explode. In air arcade battles, a marker is provided to indicate where your bombs will hit. However, in realistic battles, only modern planes equipped with CCIP system have access to this arcade marker. Therefore, you'll need to learn a few tactics to effectively hit your target and escape without getting killed. Before we delve into the tactics, let's review the following controls. Number 1. Drop Bomb, which is self-explanatory. Number 2. Drop Bomb Series. This control allows you to drop multiple bombs with a single key press. Number 3. Open Bomb Bay Door, which is essential if your plane carries bombs internally. And number 4. Toggle Air Brake, very useful when bombing during a dive. Now that we have set the controls, let's explore the bombing tactics. But first, if you are looking to get a new mouse, keyboard, controller or any other gaming equipment to enhance your gameplay, I invite you to explore my new store. Again. Find a link in my profile's bio or pinned in the comments. And if you enjoy my content and want to support its improvement while receiving rewards, you will find all the relevant information at the end of this video. Alright, before dropping a bomb, it's crucial to know how to evade ground attacks, otherwise you won't be able to get close enough to your target. For that reason, I've created a video explaining these evasion techniques. You can find the link in the video description or pinned in the comments. Assuming that you know how to survive, you have two approaches to consider. Tactic number one, dive bombing. This is your best option at mid to low VR and the first tactic to consider since you spawn with sufficient altitude. Simply locate your target, close the distance until you are positioned directly above it and execute a steep dive. To prevent you from breaking your wings or entering on an irrecoverable state, reduce your throttle to 60% to control your speed gain and utilize air brakes if available on your aircraft. This tactic is highly effective because certain vehicles are unable to fire vertically and your bombs will fall in a straight line, making it nearly impossible to miss. You can also employ this tactic against non-anti-air vehicles at close range with a less steep angle. However, be sure to set your bounce fuse time to at least 1.5 seconds to ensure you can fly away without being affected by your own explosion. Tactic number 2. Level Flight Bombing This is the more advanced of the two tactics and requires a precise timing. It is employed when you cannot perform a dive bombing approach at mid to low BRs. However, at higher VRs, it becomes almost mandatory since flying at high altitudes makes you an easy target for anti-air vehicles. Once you have located your target, fly towards it as close to the ground as possible. Then, drop your bomb approximately one second before passing over. Due to the proximity to the ground, the bomb should fall and hit accurately. Use two or three bombs to minimize the chance of missing. Once again, remember to set your bomb's fuse time to at least 1.5 seconds to avoid damage for your own explosion. This tactic is particularly effective for eliminating anti-aircraft vehicles stationed at their spawn. During your approach, consider reducing throttle or even shutting off your engine to minimize the noise and make it harder for your enemies to spot you. Each vehicle performs differently, so it is crucial to practice the tactics I've described in the test flight before entering any battle. Anyway, now with all this information, you are one step ahead on becoming an unbeatable player. I'm amazed that you've reached the end of this video. It gives me a great sense of satisfaction knowing that the information provided has been genuinely valuable to you. Or at least, I hope it has been. <laughs> So, if you'd like to support me, you can now join my Patreon. By contributing one dollar or more, you'll be aiding in the growth of this channel in more ways that you can imagine. 
In return, I offer special perks such as a dedicated role on my Discord server, early access to videos, mentions in the credits, and the chance to participate in polls where you can vote for the next video you'd like to see. Alternatively, if you prefer to make a one-time donation, you can leave the tip in the jar. Both options can be found on my profile's bio or pinned in the comments. Alright, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Hasta luego.